What's going on guys? Hopefully you guys have been enjoying the walleye videos from down here in Green Bay. Um, I have a ton of fun down here and love catching big walleyes obviously down here. So hopefully you guys have enjoyed the videos. Um, I've had a lot of footage that I've taken that I just never really shot an intro or an outro for. Um, but we can probably use some of it in this video here. And uh, we've had a lot of days where the fish are just kind of like negative or very neutral. We've had a few days where fish are really smacking kind of like the last video I posted, but it's been a lot of neutral fish. And, uh, you know, if, if you do a lot of spring fishing for walleyes or if you're coming out here, um, you know, a lot of guys just get stuck to one thing, and that's the very aggressive rip jigging thing, which if you have a big win and these fish are really active, it works great, right? But the reality is in the spring, this, these bites are very volatile, right? Um, it's very easy from day to day to see very good fishing go to very bad fishing very quickly or very negative fishing. And, uh, you know, one thing we kind of do to combat that is obviously, you know, we're still got to find fish. We still got to find warm water, all that stuff. But presentation wise, um, you can run live bait. I don't do a lot of that, but I, I fish a lot of plastics, very subtle plastics. And this is one of my favorites is the Kalen's swim bait here. Uh, this is the Tickle Tail series. This one absolutely lit them up today on a flat, calm day out here. Um, so if you're coming up here, if you're doing spring fishing, definitely check out that swim bait. This is kind of a new series they're running. It's got little appendages coming off it. This one's all chewed up and this is fished on a quarter ounce Google Eye jig. And I'm fishing a lot of water that's like 12 to five feet deep. And I'm working this bait very subtle. It's small pops like this, small pops like this that are getting the bites. So we're gonna air a whole bunch of footage here, um, catching some fish, doing this swim bait thing. I'll go ahead and link this bait down below if you wanna pick it up. It's kinda like their natural shad color. And this one's pretty much been the best for me out here um, as far as getting a lot of bites goes. And like I said, this this one absolutely smoked them today. So enjoy some fish catches here. This one absolutely smoked them. Um, the second half of the video, we're gonna kinda talk about the other thing that I like to do out here in the bay, um, which is trolling at night, which is what I attempted to do tonight. Unsuccessfully, the fish were where they should be, but we'll talk about that in a second. Enjoy some swim bait catches. Holy cow, I don't know if that was a bite or what that was. We're back on. in the right direction anyways. I was uh I was just switching baits with Tom over here with these plastics so he just gave me one of the ones he's using. And first cast. And uh right after that he cast it out and a little swim bait. Got some quality to it. Big old gut on it. Yeah. Not the biggest one we'll catch today but we're going the right direction anyways. Right next to the boat. It's a decent one. Yeah. Jig, huh? On jig. Another one. They are good average up in here. They're only in seven feet of water now. They're eating it. Little guy. On the Google app.
jumping walleye. You see that? Seven feet of water and then jump out of the water. Choked it. All right, so the other thing I like doing out here in the bay is uh, trolling at night. I hate the crowds, so a lot of nights I spend out here, like tonight, um, trying to get these fish to bite after dark. And same thing when this, just like in the day, it's a very this bite's even more finicky, I would say. Um, some nights it's just off the charts good. A lot of nights it totally sucks and you can't get bit. Tonight it is just super cold, super flat out, not ideal. Um, but the other night we were out here and it was the exact opposite out. It was warm and it was super, super windy out. And uh, these are the kind of days where you normally get bite. It was actually so windy we had to stop fishing, but um, I had a good buddy Ryan out and uh, we were trolling some Green Bay walleyes out here in the lake. And uh, we'll air some footage right here. Hopefully you guys enjoy it. We're talking about baits and uh, catching some Green Bay walleyes. So enjoy. I like that bite a lot, except feels good, Ryan. Feels good. Take your time. Man, is he squirrely. It's a good one, it's a good one. Keep him coming, keep him coming. Got him! <laughs> My man! Beast to start the night. Beast! Alright, well this is actually our second fish trolling up the night. The first one was a little bit of a, a tangle. We actually were about to hit a huge branch with the planer board and uh, Ryan ended up reeling in a walleye and the branch. Have another little bit more legit hook up here. Still don't think it's kind of the one that we're looking for, but might not be too bad of a fish. We just got set up and kind of came into the first pot of fish here. And here we go. Not a big one. I'll just grab him here, Ryan. He's about a 19 incher. But normally, if they're biting before it's even dark out, which they are. It is, uh, holy cow, we got all sorts of stuff going on here, Ryan. It's gonna be very good once it is dark out. Well, we got another board sent back. Uh, another scatter minnow fish here. Hot steel. Yep, hot steel. That last fish turned out to just be a little 18 inch walleye, but it's still walleye nonetheless. So, it's one more than catching in, not catching. All right, I gotta take the board off. A little scrapper there. Little <laughs> They're eating the middle hook. It's yeah. a good sign. Well, thank you guys for watching. Um, you know, I had a lot of footage just kind of backed up. I still have a ton of footage backed up just from, um, you know, fishing out here and filming quite a bit of stuff. And uh, I don't want it to be too repetitive, so we're going to mix in a whole bunch of things here in the next week or so. Um, but yeah, hopefully that was useful to you guys, kind of letting you know kind of our two pronged approach, our program that we're fishing out here quite a bit. Uh, the casting bite on those subtle days where we got to kind of go real finesse and then the, obviously the night trolling thing which is obviously super effective and is going to be super effective here in coming weeks so hopefully you guys enjoyed that um, we're going to kind of be utilizing both these techniques and a few more throughout the next couple weeks here and really all the way through the spring kind of no matter where we're fishing so um, should give you guys a little bit of a jump and uh, I appreciate you guys watching and following along down here in Green Bay um, yeah I'm looking forward to making more videos if you guys are not yet please subscribe stay tuned for more content and uh, <clears throat> I'm gonna go to bed because it's like 3 a.m. and I gotta get up in like two and a half hours so thank you guys please subscribe stay tuned for another video